wants us to just do what he's saying. That's right. And when we start to do what he's saying, then everything else in our lives fall in line. That's right. Amen. 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 We get the blessings. Amen. We get the, you know, the wealth, the riches. You know, Jesus was graced mm -hmm. to become poor so that we could be rich. That's what that's what 2 Corinthians 8 and 9 says. I believe what God said. Amen. He was generous enough to come poor. He had everything. He's, yes. the, he's the king of kings and lord of lords. And he yes. decided to come, you know, without anything so yes. we could actually have everything. That's how important we are. Yes. Amen. 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 So we have to just begin to tap into the wisdom of God yes. and humble ourselves yes. and embrace him and love him. And sometimes we try to love people uh, uh, more than God loves them. <laughs> and we try to cover them, and we're only in God's way. Trying to cover somebody that God is trying to whoop them. And you let him hit you instead. <laughs> He's trying to get to them. You're like, no, no, don't mess with them, Lord. Get me. I rather you get me. And God said, get out of my way. Amen. If you don't move out of my way, I'm going to move you out of my way. Amen. Amen. Because what's more important to God? The soul of the individual that we're standing in the way of him, disciplining him so he can get them to where they need to be. Right. Amen. Amen. So I, I thank God, you know, what he's saying, if we're willing and we're obedient, mm -hmm. we'll eat the good of the land. Right. But if we rebel, oh, yeah. then we're going to be disciplined. Oh, yeah. We're going to be checked. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he wants us to humble ourselves. God sees everything. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh, and he knows everything. everything. And you'll never have to give an account to uh, a person on earth. You're going to always end up having to be accountable for the soul mm -hmm. that's on the inside of this physical body Amen. that we see. Yes. You know, yes. we're going to have to give an account of the breath that God himself yes. has breathed into every individual. Mm -hmm. And I say this, that's why your body don't care about doing anything and everything. Yes. Like, you know, your body, you know, take you places. That's why you've got to let your spirit rule. So your body and your soul got to come subject mm -hmm. to the spirit of God. So your body, let, let's lie, you know, let's steal, you know, let's smoke a little, little dope, you know, let's go places, let's have a little sex outside of God's will. So your body don't care because why? At the end of the day, when God calls us into accountability, the body is going back to the dirt. Yes. It's not going to have to suffer nothing. That's, right. <laughs> That's why that soul of yours will be saying like, uh-uh, uh-uh, we're not doing it. Hmm. Uh-uh, we're not having it. Oh, we, we better not do that. Because your soul is the God part of you that will never die. Will never die. Your soul yes. will never die. Because yeah. why? It's God breathed. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's God breathed. But this body physically, mm -hmm. it's going back to the dirt. No. It's not going to answer. <laughs> it's not going to answer. Right. That's why when the breath that God breathed into us, leave us, we can't open our eyes, <laughs> we can't inhale or exhale, mm -mm. our heart no longer beats, why? Because the life part yeah. has exited, mm -hmm. so when the life part exits, mm -hmm. the body is no good, right. it's good for nothing, nothing. Amen. amen, but we put more emphasis on the physical that is spiritual. Amen. And so God wants us to become wiser yes. than we've ever been. So we need wisdom. If any man lack wisdom, God said, ask me, and I'll give you wisdom. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So I thank God, you know, for uh, allowing me this opportunity to just share a little bit. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 God is going to come today and minister a word from God under the influence and power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. He is He's very capable of doing the will of God. I've seen him cross, go across the state ministering to people as he campaigned to be lieutenant governor, and his word did not change. All right. He was the same bold, powerful, you know, uh, humble before God, but not man, individual right. <laughs> that right. he always was. And I'm so 
grateful and godly proud to be able to look up to him and give him honor. So let us Amen. welcome our very own apostle, David King. Amen. Blessings, y'all. Blessings. Blessings. Nice to see you too. Technical difficulties. Yes. So we're going to have to take it and put it on YouTube, LinkedIn, and the rest. But those that's on Facebook, we say welcome. And uh, this is the first Saturday of 2023. Yes. Woo! Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to still be here. First yes. Saturday of, of, of 20. 23. Yeah, man. Mm. And so, I, uh, I want to start off because uh, there's some things that's, that's, that's happening that we have to be aware of, that we have to be willing to um, adjust and shift. I hear church always talking about shifting and and this is a time of shifting, but we don't shift. And, 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 <laughs> and right. so um, I'm going to talk about some stuff that's going to be very challenging. And, 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 and the thing about it, and the reason it's challenging is because there's three types of people in the world. That those that can, and then there's those that can't, and then there's those that just won't do. <laughs> Come on now. And, and, and out of the many years of being a pastor, I've seen all three groups of people. I saw that those that can, that can accept the word of God and change their lives, those that can't because they didn't understand the word of God, but those that just won't do, they know what to do, but they don't want to change their lives right. because it will um, affect the way they've been living. Mm -hmm. And so when you start to teach kingdom, you run into all three of these types of people. Mm. Yeah. You run into people who open up and ready to receive the kingdom of God. Yes. And then you run into those who never heard about the kingdom of God. Right. And then you heard about those who hear about the kingdom of God but just right. don't want to do the kingdom. Amen. And we have those types of people, but I made a inner vow mm. to myself. All right. Mm -hmm. And that inner vow is whether you come or not, I'm going into the kingdom. All right. Yes. Amen. Whether you live or not, I'm going to live according to the kingdom. Amen. 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 And whether you enjoy it or not, I am oh. going to enjoy oh, the kingdom of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. So as you start to study kingdom, as we begin to study kingdom, and, and I really didn't even have a title to what we're going to talk about today. Okay. But I, I just wrote it when I stood up here. Wow. And it came down to me, and it says, God's intent. All right. All right. So, because I, I, I was like, what? How can I title this to, right. to make people understand <laughs> um, what's going on, especially in 2020? And, and, and I put down, as I stepped up here, wrote God intent. Mm. Mm. So, 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 so you be like, okay, what is God intent? The word intent means God's will. Right. Okay. All right. The word will means God's purpose. Amen. All right. So if we go back and start to look at it from the time you got saved and the time you started to hear about Jesus Christ, you never heard God's intent. You only saw and was taught about God's actions. Mm -hmm. mm. Amen. All right. You even hear people preach his actions. Jesus' actions, they never preach Jesus' intent or Jesus' purpose. They only talked about his actions. And the action is he healed the women with the issue of blood. And he healed, he cleansed the lepers. And he his action was to die on the cross. Yes, but what yes, was his purpose of dying on that cross? Yes. So when we begin to go back and look, and the reason most of us in, 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 in America cannot understand God's intent is because of the fact that we grew up in a place that never understood 
kingdom. Amen. We grew up and yep. we was born in what's called a constitution republic. Right. Now they're trying to say it's a democracy. Right. And now, why? Because if they if they if they don't understand the Constitution Republic, they say it's a democracy. Everybody has they can have their way, and the majority rules. But how many times the majority is wrong? Right. So even in the in, in, in the Old Testament, we saw what happened when the majority ruled. Three million people died because of majority rule, right. and they died in the wilderness. <clears throat> and never fulfilled God's real intent for Come their on. life. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. His intent was for them to go into the promised land. Mm -hmm. His Come purpose on. was to give them a land of their own. Amen. His purpose was for them to be a nation above all nations. Yes. But they kept focusing on actions. Mm. So, ask yourself, why? What, what was God's original purpose for us. All right. His original purpose. Why did God allow Adam and Eve? Mm. What was what was the plan? What was his purpose for having Adam and Eve? <clears throat> and religiously we'll say, well it's because you know, he wanted them to multiply and finish the earth. Hmm. But God's original intent was to expand his kingdom from heaven to earth. Yes. Amen. And when he gave, when he brought man to earth, he didn't bring man to earth to be, how should I say, uh, owners of earth, mm -hmm. but rulers of earth. Okay, so we don't own earth, we're supposed to be managing earth, we're supposed to have rulership of earth, we're supposed to be the ones who make earth look like heaven. Mm -hmm. So his original intent was colonization. Right. That was his original intent. And so when we go to look at colonization, the definition of colonization is, it's the means of a kingdom territory expansion. God wanted to expand his territory from heaven to earth. That was his purpose. That was his intent for having earth. Mm -hmm. That was his intent for allowing you to be on earth. That was his intent for us as, as, as people of God to be on earth as a group of colony. And why am I talking like this? Because the, the reason I have to talk like this is because you guys got to understand some things because the problem that we have is, and the danger of it is, we allow things to happen that shouldn't have happened even in our own uh, our own life, our own, our own families. Amen. Our own family and everything else. And so and so when we look at this thing, God's purpose, God's original intent, what God really wanted, what God is really saying, what God really wants from me. How many of y'all really ask, what did God really want from me? Yes. Have, have you ever thought about that? What did he really want from me? And, 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 and I know what I'm doing is going to, uh, how should I say this? Mm. I'm going to reestablish your foundation. All right. Mm -hmm. So that means I got to tear up some stuff. I mean, I got to break up some stuff. Mm -hmm. That means I got to lay new concrete so your foundation is a little solid. Right. Because why? Because the foundation that we was built on was a foundation that took us away from the tent of God. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. It took us away from, 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 from what God. How should I say this? Ordained for us. Yes. And when you start to look at what he ordained for us, and when you start to look at what he really wanted, you'll be like, oh my God, we serve an amazing God. Yes. When you start to really look at his plan and purpose for us, you'll be like, man, <laughs> this man was awesome. This king was awesome. This yes. God was amazing. <clears throat> and his desire for us 
Wow. Yes. So so let's look at this for example. Colonization. Now 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 the reason we gotta think of colonizing because we're talking about a kingdom. And, and, and the problem that we have is you can't mix religion and kingdom. Right. Amen. You only can hold on to one. Yes. And what the, the problem is, it's not hard. It's just what you decide to hold on to. Right. Amen. It's what's more valuable to you. Amen. And what's your motive behind what's valuable to you. Amen. All right? So colony means to... to to uh, it, colonization means a kingdom territory expansion. Mm -hmm. It's it's getting large. It's it, it, it's going big. And then inside of that colonization, you have a colony. Now, now let, let's let me ask you this question. And I don't want you to blow it out loud because you might say the wrong answer. <laughs> but if I ask you, what is the largest language in this world? Bye. Most of you will say English, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and it's not. Okay. The largest language in the world is Spanish, mm -hmm. and the reason is Spanish because Spain was awesome in colonizing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Spain will colonize and change the language. Mm -hmm. They would change the culture. They would change the lifestyle. That's why on one island, you have two different languages, two different cultures mm. on one island. All right. And that's Haiti. Mm -hmm. What's the other one on Haiti? On the same island as Haiti? French. French? Spanish. And Spanish. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because on one side, French colonized. On the other side, Spanish colonized. What's the other country that's on that island with, 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 with Haiti? All right. Portugal. Now y'all got to go do some Spain. homework. Because uh. <laughs> I want y'all to see something. Why do you think you got, you got different islands right next to each other and have different languages? Right. Because they was colonized by different countries. Mm -hmm. Look, she's going to look it up right now. <laughs> they, got, they got different countries, right? And so when a country takes over territory, when they start to colonize, they change languages, they change yes. lifestyle, Amen. they change Amen. culture, they even change their food menu. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything about that country is now in that territory. So Spain, mm -hmm. did y'all know that Christopher Columbus, you know who financed his Exhibitions, Spain did, mm -hmm. and everywhere he went, he didn't, he put the flag of Spain down because that's who that's who is that who paid for mm -hmm. his journeys. Yes. So everywhere he went, he 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 named he, he named that place in the in the in the in the, um, in, the in the name of the of the Spain. That's why Spanish is the largest language. Look it up. Spanish is the largest language in the world. So when, so when you're talking about colonizing, you're talking about expanding the territory. See, America almost was colonized. Right. It started off. Yep. And then all of a sudden they said, you know what? We sick of this king. Mm -hmm. we, he got to go. Mm -hmm. The Bahamas was colonized. Mm -hmm. Until in 1962, they said, okay, it's enough. Y'all got to go. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be under y'all rulership anymore. So they fought for their independence. Amen. So when you start to look at colonization, you got to look at it from, a, from, from the sense of what is God talking about? Well, let's go. Let's go to Proverbs 19.21 first. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Sorry. My phone's delayed. You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. You can make many plans, but God's purpose will prevail. So what God intent will happen. 
What God will is will happen. Yes. How many times we always say, God, if it's your will? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so what would you really say is, God, if it's your purpose, or is, is this what you intended yeah. to happen, let it be. Right. So when you look at, at the purpose of God, his purpose was to set his kingdom here on earth. That was his original purpose. So if that's his original purpose, then what he wanted us to do is to go and colonize the earth to make it function like heaven. Right. Let's go to Matthew 6 and 10. Amen. Go ahead. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I'm sorry. I'm reading out of NLT. You want me to go to AMPC? Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, how many times you heard this, read this, prayed this, mm -hmm. and never knew the, the original intent of what this meant? Right. right. Amen. Think about it. We yeah, prayed it. Oh, yeah. They and I chose to say it was the Lord's prayer, mm -hmm. right. but it was a model prayer. And he right. was saying, and we were saying, Thy kingdom come, right. that will be done right. in earth mm -hmm. as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Right? Or on earth as it is in heaven, right? right? Mm -hmm. So we, we so we're saying to God, let your will be done. Let your intent be done yes. in earth. Let your purpose be done yes. on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. So, 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 yeah. what we didn't really understand what that means. What do that mean? Because we've been saying it, and I've been saying right. since. Woo! <laughs> I don't even want to bring out that here. Never <laughs> but I've been saying that long, and being saying that long, <laughs> that long, <laughs> All being right. saying that long, okay. we've been here. I've been hearing that for that long, uh, and yes. yet His will has not been done right. on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Okay. Because we never took time to say, what is his will right. in the first place? Amen. Mm -hmm. Because we say, Lord, if it's your will. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't happen, we say, well, Lord, maybe it's not his will. Yep. But we didn't understand. What did he really mean when he said, thy kingdom come? Right. Thy will be done. What did he meant when he first started preaching and said, repent. Change the way you're thinking because the kingdom is here. Yes. Why you think, let's, let's, let me look at it, let me show you this way. The, the reason he did that is because he never intended for you to be part of a religious organization ever. Amen. It was never his tent for you to be Baptist or apostolic or non-denominational right. or Pentecostal or child of the firstborn, or any of those other things. He never, that was not his, his, his intent. But because we didn't know his real purpose and intent, we went in that direction. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. And so, in that direction, got us farther and farther mm -hmm. away from our home country. Why? Mm -hmm. yes. So we didn't understand we was a colony, but we also didn't understand that there was a culture that comes Come with God. On. Amen. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I loved about uh, one of uh, Tyler Perry movies, and I, I, I'm trying to think of which one it was, but I think it was um, Family Reunion or whatever it was. The, in the movie, the old lady and Cicely Tice, I don't know, I can't remember the old lady name that was with Cicely Tice. Mm. And they walked through, she said, I want to see my family. And she, they walked through the, the, the yard yep. of the family reunion. Mm -hmm. You had the old man's drinking and being dirty. Right. You had the younger man's fighting one another because they was gambling. Mm -hmm. You had the girls half naked and shaking their booty. Mm -hmm. You had, I mean, there was so much disrespect right. that they went to the old house yep. where the culture of the family was. Yeah. All right. And they rung the bell. Mm. And they brought everybody together. And one of the things that they said was, this wasn't the intent of the family. Come on. Come the on. purpose of my family was right. not you girls dressing half naked. Come on, come right. On. Shaking your thing. It wasn't for you boys to be smoking weed come and on. gambling. It was about pride. It was about loving one another. It yes. was about supporting one another. Yes. It was about building one another up. She was giving them the 
culture where they yes. came from. But because we have got so far away from family, we yes. lost our culture. Yes, yes. Amen. We lost it. So now we allow somebody that ain't even black to give us a black culture. You know. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Come on. We are about to have the celebration of Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday. You know. And he's probably flipping in his grave a hundred times. You know. Because I guarantee you, he said, I didn't die for this. Right. He said, what I died for, you messed it up. Mm -mm. Yes. I died that our kids get a better education. Yeah. You know? I did not die that they are the worst in the education system. Yeah. Come on. I did not die for you can put my 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 purpose or my intent with same sex marriage. Come on. Right. My intent with abortion. Right. My intent with anything that was not God. the original plan that we had when we started walking. Right. We walk that we can have it better. We walk in that right. we can all come together. Okay. We walk that our children will not be judged by the color of their skin, yes. but the content of their character. Right. See, right. I did not die for you to flash a, 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 a rainbow flag and say, Pride Fest. Right. But every time they try to do so, where did they go to? Civil Rights Act. Mm -hmm. We got to go back. Yep. We got to go. This is what Martin Luther King was. Uh, was about this is the dream he had. This is no, not the not. dream. It's this is the nightmare. Yes. So far away from the culture. Yes. Man. So when Jesus Christ came on the scene, he came on the scene to reestablish the kingdom of God. And as he looked down on us today, he said, This is not what I died for. Why? Mm. Amen. Mm. Absolutely not. I did not die for, for artists. So called gospel artists to say, I'm going to bow down to a goat. He did not die for us to say, it's okay to be in a safe sex marriage and, and, and in the pulpit, a man married to a man. He's not Why? That's not what, not what not Jesus God's died intent. for. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yes. It's so, not his intent. So, and the reason. And one of the reasons why we have not got to the place of God's original intent because we was never taught the original intent of God. Right. We were only taught Re his actions. Yes. Amen. Religion. <laughs> For God so loved the world. That's yes. his actions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Religion. And so so what, what, what happened is we, we have come to a place that if you go on YouTube, they try to show you the culture of Esposia. If you go to Twitter, if you go to TikTok, and they think that the culture is us just jumping around dancing. Jeez. That's the culture. Yep. To the fact that they're now showing videos of little kids doing the culture. So called. So called. So, so let's go for a second. Now, when we look at this, this thing, it says God's original intent was to colonize earth. Yes. Mean to expand his his kingdom here on earth. And he does it with his with his colony of citizens. Yes. The colony is a group of people who leave their native country to form in a new land and settlement subject to subject to Establish the culture of heaven on earth. Yes. Now, now, yes. now, now, when you start to look at this thing, let's look at culture for a minute. When you start to look at the culture, culture is the behavior and belief characteristics of a particular group. Yes. All right? It is the behavior and belief mm -hmm. characteristics. Mm -hmm. Of a particular group mm -hmm. of Amen. people. So, if we are all under the king, come on, and he is really king, how come we got so many divisions? Right. Mm -hmm. okay. Amen. In Amen. his kingdom. Yeah. Amen. King come together. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is not white nor black. Right. 
nor rich, nor poor. Right. No jewel, no Gentile. Right. We are the same in the kingdom of God. Amen. That we are the same. Do, do you understand that one of the things that he take away from us is jealousy? Amen. We shouldn't be jealous of anyone because we have the same rights as they do. Amen. I'm jealous you got a car. Go get yours. I'm jealous that you're acting like this. Go get yours. Yes. See, the one of the biggest things in the in the culture of the kingdom of heaven is love. Amen. 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 I have to love you. Not yes. the way the church told me to love you. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. But the way God told God me. God to told me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So if John do something wrong to me, mm -hmm. I'm supposed to take him to lunch. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. Oh. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh. I gave her that O. Oh, you can. Because oh, you can't see yourself doing that. Oh. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. right. when he say turn up the cheek, he ain't say just turn so he can slap you. Right. You yeah. do something good to them. Right. Right. You show love to them. That's good. That's right. Now me, I might slap you back. But uh -huh. then that don't represent the kingdom of God. Absolutely not. Amen. But he says, if you do something wrong, then I show him love. Yes. That's right. Amen. It doesn't make me weak. No, Why? Right. It makes me obedient. Almost yes. Right. Say that, man of God. Say that. Woo. See, it doesn't make me weak. Amen. He says, when you love one another, yes. then they'll know you are my disciples. Uh huh. Indeed. Yes. Or they are not my citizens. Yes. Because that's our culture. Yes. Is to love one another. Amen. Amen. So when we look at when we look at it as a colony, how do I was talking to two gentlemen last night at my son's basketball game. One was a pastor and the other guy, he just go to another church, but we was all sitting there. And I had I said to him, I said, you know what the, the problem we have is this? You we all part of the same colony. We're just in different territories. Mm -hmm. Right. You over here mm -hmm. and you over there right. and I'm over here. Yes. Mm -hmm. But guess what? We all three, because we are part of the kingdom of God, Amen. supposed to be saying the same thing. Absolutely. Yeah. No Amen. matter where, where, where we are. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. When we look at this thing from from, from what it is, the reason we can't grab our mind around it, and the reason we can't do uh, do the kingdom things the way we're supposed to, is because of the fact that we don't want to surrender. Yes. Amen. We are That's afraid it. to surrender. We are yep. afraid of the word submission. Yep. Submit yourself. And see, we, they're not submitting to us. You're submitting to the king. Yes. And see, the problem that we have is this. In the Jewish community, no matter what time of day it is, if it's prayer time, guess what happens? They all go to Everybody. prayer. They all go to the synagogue. Yep. They don't let job no. or nothing. Nope. In the Muslim community, yep. When it's time for prayer, yep. what do they do? All go to pray. They go to pray. Even if they got a business, they'll lock up and say, we'll yep. be back in an hour. Yep. Yep. They have a culture. Yeah. And they, you know their culture. Why? Right. On Friday evening, you would not make a phone call to a Jewish family to yep. try to do business. Mm -mm. Because that's the beginning of Sabbath. They shut down. They shut down. You are not going to knock on their door. You are not going to nope. call them nope. and say, can you come over? Let's kick nope. it. Mm -hmm. You are not going to do any, not, nope. not even with the young people. Because nope. why? They have a culture. They have and a they age. taught that culture to their children. Yes. Same thing yes. with Muslims. They culture. I was, we was, we was at, a, um, at, at, at a Muslim place on Tatonia. Mm -hmm. And we was talking business. And then it was prayer time. Right. We had to stop talking prayer, business and went in and prayer with them. We didn't pray the way they prayed. 
but respected their culture. Come on now. All right. All right. I didn't pray to Allah. I prayed, right. but I didn't pray to Allah. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm speaking in tongues. I'm talking to my Heavenly Father, right. but I respect their culture. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is this. They don't respect the church culture. Because the church doesn't have a culture. Come on. We are so far away from Jesus. God because we we tell God we want to be independent. We don't want to be in, under the kingdom. Because when we call prayer in Bible, in Bible class or legislative meeting or whatever other churches call it, they barely show. It's right. It's so true. Because of culture. Right. Our religious culture allows us to judge others without judging ourselves. Jesus. My goodness. So we don't know the intent of God. Because why? We didn't really study the intent of God. Right there. Amen. We don't know the purpose. Of why? Why? Most people don't even still don't understand why Jesus came. They think he just came to die for your sins so you can live any kind of way and mess up with grace. Yep. Yep. Well, you can't tell me I ain't got a relationship with God. I can't question your relationship at all. But I can question that fellowship. Right. If that fellowship is not in tune. Now, when we look at the word purpose, it says the reason for which something exists. All right. The reason something exists wow. or is done or made or used. Mm. All right. Jesus said it this way in, in the Garden of Gethsemane. My, not my intent, mm. but your intent. All right. Because intent means what? Purpose. Will. 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 Will means what? What did Jesus say? Not my purpose. Yo. But yours. <laughs> Not mine. Yes. Because my what what you intended for me to do, I'm ready to do. Right. What your purpose for my life is, I'm ready to I'm yes. ready to move forward. Yes. In that purpose. Amen. So when I so when I go back and I look at, okay, so God job, God plan was to colonize earth. With his culture. Yes. To colonize earth yes. with the culture of heaven. Yes. Most of us mm, don't want to confess that you're on welfare. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Right? Thank you. Yes, I am. One person said, I am. You don't want to confess that. I I don't know welfare, then you ain't in the kingdom. Oh. The kingdom. Yes. Yes. Oh, that hit popped up real fast on that Yes. What do you mean? I'm on. I'm on welfare. Yes. I'm on the welfare of the kingdom of heaven. It is, it is the king's job to take care of my well-being. It is the king's job to make sure I'm taken care of. So I'm on welfare. It is. He desired for you to be on that welfare. Yes. Because in the kingdom of God, I own nothing, but I have access to everything. Everything. Yes. Amen. I ain't talking about the United States government welfare. Because no. they welfare said you can't have nothing. Why? Right. Why? Right. Right. Don't prosper. At all. <laughs> see, we don't want to, we, see, we don't understand. His, his intent was to take care of you. Yes. Not you take care of yourself. Amen. His intent and purpose. That's why he said in Jeremiah, I know the intent I have for yes. you. Yes. I know. I understand my intent for you. Yes. And that is to prosper you. Amen. Amen. To do good by you. Why? Right. So if that's his intent, why not say, let thy will be yes. done? Yes. Amen. If that's his intent for you. Let your will be done. 
Amen. But the problem that we have is we don't want to submit to it because we have to understand. See, see the thing about this, and I'm not saying if you don't follow the kingdom the way I'm telling you about the colonization and colony and the culture that you ain't going to get to heaven. I'm not saying that. I'm right. just saying you're not going to enjoy heaven on earth. Why? Right. Come on. Yes. I'm just saying you're going to go through a lot. Because right. you're thinking there's earthly Amen. treasures that you're chasing instead of it chasing you. yours. Yes. Amen. Amen. And so you would never understand and fulfill your purpose. Come on. Because you got to ask, why did he send me here? Why? Mm. Yes. See, we don't have a lot of time. Come on. But our work will be undone. Because we're too busy sitting in church giving excuses to a king who already knows his right, purpose for your life. Right, amen. Well, I can't come because I got this in life to do. And I can't come because I'm doing this. I can't come. That's why Jesus said it this way. He said, any man that put his hands to the plow and look back is not even fit yes, yes. for the kingdom. Yes. He gave us a... Examples after example. He said there was one he walked up to and he said, follow me. And he said, Lord, first let me go and take care of my, uh, bury my father. Mm -hmm. yes. And other words, let me go do my business first and then I'll come follow wow. you. Then he asked another one. He said, I just got married. I can't come. Then he asked another one. Yes. I just brought some land. I got to go see it. So you bought yeah. land before you even saw it. Come on. Right. Mm -hmm. They gave excuses why they can't come right. under the king. Right. And we do it today. I can't go because I got work. But that job is by choice. That job was by choice. It, it ain't that, that that's your main job. It's by choice. So we do things by mm. choice. We do, well, I got to get my career together. That's by choice. And here's the sad part about it. You can have a, a great career. Wow. A great career and never fulfill your assignment. So yeah. is that a successful life or not? No. Mm -mm. No. You can have all the money you want. Yes. But is that your assignment? No, that's something you wanted. Right. Wow. And you did not want to submit to the intent of God for your wow. life. Wow. Jesus. So, so, so what's happening is, as, as, as a colony, as a group of people, we understand where we come from. See, a lot of people say, <laughs> a lot of us religious people say, I'm just a pilgrim mm -hmm. yeah. passing through. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is not my home. Mm -hmm. right. They're where it's home. Right. And how to come you don't look like home? Right. right. Amen. Where it's home. Amen. Mm -mm. You got a different culture from the north than the south. A person that never been in the south that goes for the first time wondering why everybody waving at them. Mm -hmm. Right. Because <laughs> it's a different culture. They don't have to know you. They be like, hey, right. Yep. And you got you to gotta either get one of them automatic arms that just waves so everybody, because they don't understand. They don't understand why they're so polite and, and mean at the same time in the South. Mm. One minute, they, hey, how you doing? And the next minute, boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't understand it. Wow. And when somebody from the South first come up to the North, it's a culture shock. Yes. Yeah. Because they're like, wait a minute, what's this? Whoa, hold up. Uh -huh. Because different cultures. Yep. Right. And why? Because the people of North came from the South, so why is it a different culture? Because right. we got away. Okay. Right? Yep. yep. We got away. And what happened is we got it, we, we got influenced. Yep. And so when you get influenced, you start to change. Yep. Because whoever influenced you changed you. Yes. Because they had an impact on you. Amen. The church got influenced instead of being the influence. Right. The church has got influence. Yep. And the church started to change. Yep. Instead of making changes. Amen. Amen. So when we look at this thing, you look at uh, any any ethnic group that came over or any any group that came over to America from different countries. Yep. And they still hold fast to their culture. Yep. They do. You got some that'll break away. Right? right? Mm -hmm. You got you got you got some Latinos, born Latinos, 
got away from the Spanish culture that they can't even speak Spanish to their grandma. Right. Wow. You got people that are Portuguese but can't speak the language. Right. Because they got away from the culture. Right. Yep. Right? Amen. It's true. Whatever whatever language they had on that boat till the time they got to America as slaves, they changed their culture, yep. they changed their language. Yep. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So most of us don't even know. That was one thing that Frederick Douglass' grandma always told Frederick Douglass. We was not always slaves. Amen. She tried to remind him mm -hmm. that this is not who we are. Right. This is not who we are. So we was not always like this. And what God mm -hmm. wants us to let people know is this ain't who we all we are. I used to have to tell the young yes. people, watch this. I had to tell the young people, because the young people was mad that there was no black owned gas station, both one, there was no black owned corner store. And I said, there was a time right. that they all was black. Mm -hmm. We didn't value mm -hmm. what we had. Amen. And we sold it. We mm -hmm. sold every corner store in the black community, because there was all black home. We sold every cleaners in the black community because right. it was all black owned. Mm -hmm. We even sold every liquor store in the black community because mm -hmm. it was all black yep. owned. Yep. Everything in the black community that is run by a different cult, a different ethnic ours. group now used to be ours. Was ours. Mm -hmm. We sold it. We sold it all. Yeah. All the houses were mm -hmm. ours, mm -hmm. and we sold it. Right. Because we didn't value what we had. Right. And now they can treat you any kind of way. Amen. Everything was ours. Yes. Everything. Yep. And we had pride with it. Yes. Our schools, our teachers. We didn't have to worry about, mm -hmm. we didn't have to worry about going in the corner store and being disrespected. Right. Right. We didn't have to worry about going in the liquor store right. and being disrespected. All right. All right. Still. Mm -hmm. Right. Because we, there was pride behind it. Yep. In schools, you had you had so many yep. black teachers yep. that you, you you didn't have to worry about right. nobody being disrespected. Right. Right. Because why? We had a culture, and that culture was your teacher was able to discipline, discipline you. you. Yes. Uh, Respect. Come on. Mm -hmm. And when you got home, yeah, you got a whooping. Come on. Yep. And you got a whooping for two reasons. Mm -hmm. And we only know the one reason. We only paid attention to the one reason. The one reason that when you got a whooping because you was bad. Right. The second reason you got that whooping because you disrepresented the family. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. You messing up the family name. Amen. Name meant everything. Yes. Yes. And we have now allowed them to mess up the family name. Amen. Because we went to religion instead of the kingdom. Yes. Nobody want church. Mm. Nobody want church. I was invited to come to a past appreciation. I was like, no, thank you. What we want you to do remarks. You wouldn't like my remarks, so I'm not, I'm not even going to come. Because I'm part of a different culture. So I'm going to say what my king tell me to say. Yes. I can't do it. I, I gotta do what the king won't got. And so like we yes. in a restaurant. A lady eavesdropped in my conversation, and when she eavesdropped in my conversation, the spirit kicked in and I eavesdropped in her life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And told her about her life. Amen. And she was like, oh wow. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there trying my best to enjoy my meatloaf and don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. But I couldn't. Yes. I had to tell her. Amen. I had to let it. Yeah. Because that's what the kingdom of heaven is about. Our job is to make earth look like heaven. So if somebody yes. around me in bondage, it, it's my job to free them. Amen. Amen. That's good. I can't yeah. wait and say, oh, I'm just going to pray for you. No, I got to free you now. This yes. is what you're dealing with. This yes. is your problem right yes. here. This yes. is what you got to stop doing right here. This is what you need to do right here. Mm -hmm. This is why they're doing this to you right here. Yep. Now it's your choice. Amen. So let's look at this thing for, for an example. What is the culture of heaven? Right. Because one of the things that God wants to do is make you different than anybody else. Amen. Amen. That you are set aside. 
by yes. anybody else. That you don't look like nobody else. And it doesn't take a long time. Why? It takes you a long time. Come on. God is not on your time right, <laughs> on your time frame. And we got to stop saying God is taking this. It's going to take a long time for God to do this. Mm -hmm. It don't take God a long time. Right. It's taking you a long time yes. because you don't want to shift. Mm -hmm. Yes. Come on. Mm -hmm. So true. It doesn't take us hard to comprehend it. We just don't want to comprehend it because if I comprehend it, that means I was wrong yes. and I got to change something and I don't want to change no thing. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord. So, so, so the problem is the problem is not the, the intent of God, the purpose of God um, to colonize. The problem is lies within. Yes. It's in us. Amen. What do I mean? It's in us. I don't want to learn the culture of God. <laughs> because the culture of God means one thing. He's king. Yes. We say Jesus is Lord of our lives. Yes. Right? That, Lord, that word Lord is master. Yes. When the last time you got permission from master to do anything? Right. He's master. That means owner. Amen. He, he has ownership of me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if he has ownership of me, I belong to who? Yeah. So if I belong to him, there's a way he wants me to live. Yes. So I don't belong. And when I was studying this morning, this is what I found out, and it was so deep, and I had to think about it for a minute. It said this. You don't belong to God. If you're not obedient to God. Amen. Amen. And I had to think about that for a minute. Like, what? Yeah. And it says, if you are Lord, if he's Lord, mm -hmm. and you are not obeying the Lord, then he's not he's Lord. Not Lord. Amen. But ain't we under grace? He's not Lord. He's not Lord. Amen. He might be Savior. Right. But he's not Lord. Yes. He yes. might be Savior. Yes. He might have delivered you. Yeah. Yes. But he's not Lord. Amen. Two different things. Yes. He might be saved. He might have brought you out of something. Amen. But he's not Lord. That is over you. Mm. That's why we need Savior all the time. Wow. Because we won't let him be Lord. Mm. He always got to save us and bring us out of something. <laughs> Jesus. Because we don't want to be obedient to the Lord. Mm -mm. So he's Savior, and he's always trying to save us mm -hmm. or deliver us from something. Mm -hmm. But if we would allow him to be Lord, those things we would not get in Amen. 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 Then he's supposed to be king. Yes. <clears throat> As king. Whatever he says goes. How hard Amen. is that to, to, to comprehend? Right. Amen. You know how we do God? We do God the way we did our parents. Mm. Mm. Our, when we was young, our parents was Lord right. of our lives. All right. We they obeyed. We we had to obey, and they yep. was king. That's right. We yep. had to govern by their rules. rules. Mm -hmm. And what did y'all say? I can't wait to get out of here. Yep. You left home yep. too early, premature, yep. Yep. because you didn't want to be, you didn't want nobody to be Lord over you. Right. Oh my God. Ooh, that's so true. <laughs> we want to get out on our own. Yes. We want to own. govern ourselves by our own rules. Right. I'm in my own house now. Yes. So now you don't, you don't went from depending on your parents right. to become independent mm -hmm. and you would have wished you would have stayed dependent. Because mm -hmm. right. you didn't know what all comes with dependency. The Bible called him Abba Father. Yes. That word Abba means source. Yes. He is my source. Right. He is the source of everything that I need. He is the right. source of my life. Right. But when I go independent, I lose my source. Come on. Come on. Yes. Your parents was your source. It was their responsibility 
responsibility yep. to make sure the lights was on. It was their responsibility yep. to make sure you had heat. It was their responsibility to make sure food was in the house. It was their responsibility to make sure you had clothes. But the moment you wanted your independence, yep. yes, yep. All that left. Come on now. You was on your own. Yeah. You didn't realize how hard it was. Right. Now you need them to be savior. Mm -hmm. Can I come back home? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> now, now, you, now you want them to be savior now. Right. Because you wanted to be independent all along. Wow. And that's how we do God. We want to be so independent. Then when we get in trouble, we want to call the savior. Right. Yep. <laughs> yep. Still haven't made them Lord. Right. We just want him to be savior. Save me out of this. Mm -mm. Don't let him be Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Why do you think he said in Matthew chapter 7, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord. Because mm -mm. <laughs> I'm not really their Lord. Right. He says, not only, he said, he says, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yes. But those that do the will. Do the will. Or those that do the intent, mm -hmm. or those that do the purpose yes. of my Father, yes. which is in heaven, Amen. shall enter in. Right. And then here come all the folks that called them Savior. Mm -hmm. But Lord, did not prophesy. Uh -huh. But Lord, did not cast out demons. Mm -hmm. But Lord, did not do wonderful works. Mm -hmm. And he says, I'm going to say it openly and publicly. I never knew you. Come on. Amen. Ooh. What he said. You worker of iniquity. Mm -hmm. What is he saying? He said, because your intent, your purpose, mm -hmm. your will wasn't about me. It was about yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nothing covers you. Yeah. So it's your heart. Oh, come watch your business. That's how some of your parents said. Let your kids want to come home. You'd be like, no. No, no. You want it to be out there? <laughs> go ahead. Go for it. Because you're not going to go by my rules over here. Mm -hmm. Ain't no coming in the house whenever you want to. Mm -hmm. Ain't no leaving the kids and you're going to go. Cause, cause come on, come no, on. you're not not here. Nope. Mm -hmm. Stay where you at. Yeah. You wanted to be grown. Yep. Mm -hmm. You wanted to be on your own, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Stay there. Right. Now, a lot of us wish we could have done a lot of things different. Mm -hmm. Go back to the house and just chill. But the thing about it is this. First, we got to love. Amen. We have to show the love of God. Amen. Not the way church told us to show the love of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. But the way God told us to love. Yeah. That's the thing that I love about when you understand that he's king over your life. Mm. In Genesis 12, he says, I will bless whoever bless you. Amen. But I'm going to curse whoever try to curse you. Yes. He said, and through you oh. shall all the families and kindreds of the earth be blessed. Yes. And then he said, and by you, they will bless themselves. So you ain't got to worry about how they treat you. That's my job. Mm -hmm. I just Amen. need you. And Jesus said it in Matthew 5, 44. Love them. Yes. Pray for them. Yes. Be good to them. Yes. That's the culture of the kingdom. Amen. Amen. And you're doing it not to get a pat on the back. Right. You're just doing it. Amen. That's part oh of the God. culture. Yeah. Yes. And wherever you go, he said, what's this? He said, and wherever you go, heal all manner of sickness. Yes. That's our culture. Right. You're supposed to get excited with somebody around you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ain't nobody to coach. That's part of the culture. Right. And you got to also understand what the king said. The one thing I love about what the king said is this. He says, Cleo, according to your faith. No, it's good. It's good. Okay. Cleo, according to your faith, let it be done unto you. According to what you believe in me, yes. let it be done. Amen. Yes. Let it be done. According to what you believe, mm -hmm. let it be done. Mm -hmm. According to what you think I am capable of doing in your life, let it be done. Yes. yes. You ain't got to do nothing special. You ain't got to spin around five times and high five eight people. You ain't got to come and drop a, a special offering in the basket. No. He said, according to your right. faith. Listen, we are faith people. Amen. <coughs> Amen.
Amen. We live by faith, not by sight. Amen. Because we are spirit being people. Yes. Right? We are spirit beings that live in a body that possess a soul. Yes. We don't come to the building to have a, a spiritual experience. No. no. You're supposed to have a spiritual experience every day because that's yes. who you are. Amen. But the problem that we have is we've been trained in a false culture. Yes. Amen. We've been trained in a culture where it was more emotional than it was spiritual. Amen. Amen. We are more... We, 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 we was raised in a culture where titles was more important mm -hmm. than humility. Yes. That's why when you go to restaurants or to the doctor's office and they're calling the individual by their church name uh -huh. instead of their birth name, mm -hmm. then you know something is wrong. Absolutely. When a person going to the doctor's office and all of a sudden you say, Jonathan Johnson is Bishop Jonathan Johnson. Right. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. <laughs> right, right. Yes, Amen. 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 That's a problem. Mm. The lady at the restaurant yesterday, she said, what should I call you? I said, you call me whatever. You call me son, citizen, ambassador, mm -hmm. king, priest, David. David. <laughs> mm. Doctor, apostle, whatever you want to call me. Because yep. the name doesn't mean it. Well, it's, it's called reverence. No, that's what they told you. Right. Did they ever, you see anywhere in the Bible where they walk up to Jesus and say, Chief Apostle Jesus? No. Mm -hmm. It's no. not there. It's not there. Jesus mm -hmm. is not there. Because the, 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 the spotlight should not be on me, it should be on him. Amen. Amen. In all of our lives. So when we look at, at this thing, God's original tent, his, his original tent, his, his will, his purpose is for you to advance his colony, not a church organization. You're supposed to bring people into the kingdom, yeah. not into a denomination. And if you try to work with them to bring them into the kingdom, you'll find out it's more fun they're trying to pull a team to get them to come to church. Right, right. Because what you do speak louder than whatever you say. Yes. So when you love him, they receive your love. The Bible says in order for you to have a friend, you're first supposed to present yourself what? Friend. friend. So how come you nobody ain't got no friends? Huh? Yeah, ain't nobody approach you. <laughs> <laughs> How you gonna be a friend they can't even approach you? Right. They don't even know how to say hi to you. Why? Because your demeanor. Right. You're always looking like something is wrong. That's just how it looks. Well, get a little joy in you, Jesus. Right. Yeah. That's right. Enjoy life. Celebrate life. Amen. Celebrate your life. Thank you, yes. Jesus. <clears throat> you gotta get to the place where I am so comfortable and whatever's happening, it's just happening. Because Amen. I just trust God. Whatever happens is happening right now. Amen. Amen. I'm like, I really don't want to deal with this because that ain't got nothing to do with the kingdom, so I don't really want to deal with this. Mm -hmm. Apostle Rose will tell y'all, I'd be like, do I? Yeah, I really, mm -hmm. how you feel about it? Don't. Right. Because why? I'm, I'm, I'm focused on, as a citizen of the kingdom of God, let the king do what he want to do. Yes. Amen. So so guess what? It took a lot of stress off of me. Amen. It took a, it took a lot of a lot of things off me that I don't even think about stuff. Amen. She's like, what you think about? Nothing? Really? Right. I ain't got to think about nothing no more. Why? Because whatever the king says, that's it. Amen. I don't have to think about nothing anymore. Mm -hmm. Only thing my focus on, what do you want me to do today? Yes. Who do you want me to serve today? Who do you want me to love on today? Who do you want me to bring into the kingdom? Whoever you want me to bring... Just, just, just allow them yes. to walk in my path. Yes. yes. And when they open that door, trust me, I'm gonna walk yes. through. Yes. Just like I told the lady, I, I'm gonna come and sit by us. I said, "See, you thought you was eavesdropping, but God set you up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't yeah. eavesdropping. Amen. He set you up. Yes. You thought you was doing something, but He has a different plan. Amen. That's what we got. We got to be open to when y'all say go, we go. Go. Right. We go take that territory. Amen. If 2022 was okay. Mm. And we have some...
reasons why we didn't do everything in God. But 2023, if we don't take territory, we have no excuse. Amen. If we can't bring the kingdom culture to earth, we have no excuse. Yes. If we ain't walking around and allowing signs to follow us because we're preaching nothing but the kingdom, then we have no excuse. Yes. Because God is only going to confirm what he already said. Amen. All this other stuff that sounds good, these little gimmicks. Right. It sounds good. This is the this is the time of reaping. You better yes. be careful about that. Because you gotta ask yourself, if this is my time of reaping, what did I sow? <laughs> <laughs> right. You gotta be you gotta you gotta look at the whole Oh, excuse me. You got to get the whole purpose. Right. This is a harvest time. If this is harvest time, what did I sow? Wow. If they were one of you saying this is harvest time, so if you sow wicked, your harvest is wicked. Yep. Right. Yep. So if this, because you got to remember now, the Bible says, do do not be deceived. For God is not mocked. Right. Whatsoever a man soweth, yes. so shall he reap. Amen. So if it's harvest time and you've been deceiving up. folks and you've been getting over on folks and you've been lying to folks, guess right. what happened? You can get a harvest of deceitful yep. lying. Yes. So so you gotta you gotta ask yourself, what have you been doing right. to get a harvest? Amen. Right. Amen. This is a this is a season of breakthrough. Yes. Breakthrough of what? All right. I mean, it all sounds good, though, don't it? Amen. Season of breakthrough. You. This is your year of breakthrough. I hope that breakthrough means this is your year of obedience. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That that your breakthrough is you're going to stop being disobedient and start yes. to be obedient. Mm-hmm. To the things of God, because God, see, God, why do we, why do we really, really think that God can give us when we are disobedient? Right. That's why He said, "I will allow you to go into captivity." And see, captivity is not just you being a slave to some people. That captivity, you can be slave to money. All right. You can be a slave to uh, things on the internet. You can be slave to anything. Yeah. Because of your disobedience. He said, you know I don't like you doing that, but since you want to do that, go into captivity. He even said, I will send a strong delusion. I will send a strong delusion that you may believe it, but the end is a destruction. This is what he said. See, we already want the the cute stuff. God said, I chastise those that I love. And then he said, if I don't chastise you, you're not mine. You're a bastard. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Lord. See, we don't want this part of it. Because why? This is not lining up with what we got to do. That means I'm going to have to change some things. And if I got to change some things, the things that I like doing, I can't do anymore. Amen. When we are part of a colony, we're saying that we are under heaven's jurisdiction. Right. And if we are under heaven's jurisdiction, what we're saying is, heaven is in charge of me. Amen. And if heaven is in charge of me, what we're saying is, I'm no longer in charge. Right. So I need to send an email to heaven to say if I can do a certain thing. But I wouldn't have to send an email to heaven if I read the Constitution. Right. Amen. Because if I read the Constitution, then I already know what I can and can't do. Yes. And our biggest problem is this, as I close this up. God is not changing for us. Amen. We better be willing to change for him. Amen. Amen. God is not changing for us. God is not going to compromise for us. God is not going to allow us to do things because we feel it's right. God's just going to let you play your own self out. Yes. We're playing our own self out. We're doing our own thing. And, 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 and in the process, he exposes folks. Mm-hmm. Yes. Just exposed Kurt Franklin. We're talking about the lamb and the lion. He's going to bow to the goat. Yeah. And folks are beating, clapping and snapping off of that and don't, don't even don't pay attention to the saying. word. Mm-hmm. They don't know what he 
saying. Right. You got you got pastors that saying it's not homosexuality, it's gender love. Mm. Oh, yeah. You got pastors say we're gonna take our land and we're gonna grow weed. So we can draw in the drug dealers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. We got so much going on that 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 is if people are yeah. looking for real yeah. sons of God. When I say son, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not talking yeah. male or female because we both sons are both male and female. Male. We're both the bride, male and female. Right. Yep. When God made man, He made male and female. He right. made He them. Yeah. Right. So. We're not going to go there today. But the thing about it is the whole creation is waiting on you to come under yeah. the kingdom of God yeah. as colony. Yeah. So when people die, why do we say that we they have a home going? Right. That's where they came from. Because that's where they come from. Right. Yeah. Why do you think Jesus says don't take them out of the world? Right. But leave them in the world. Yeah. But protect them from evil. Yes. yes. He said, don't take them out of here, but leave them here. Amen. Church prepare you to leave. Yeah. Kingdom prepare you to work. Right. You got, you got stuff to do. Amen. Amen. You, you have to look at, if you want to see how successful you are, look at your life and see how much you've been obedient to Christ. Yes. How much are you obeying Christ? And that, that's how you measure your, yourself. If you don't measure yourself of what you have or don't have. That's the truth of the devil. Because if you start getting depressed on what you don't have, come on. Then he got you. And you'll do anything to get what you don't have. Wow. But if you remember who you have, right. yes. then you can always walk in obedience. Mm. So I tell people this. When they say, well, I'm going to believe in God for a car. Okay, what you going to do for the kingdom with that car? Right. Because that car belongs to the king. Right. That's a royal car. So what you going to do with it? Right. Mm. I believe in God for a, a bigger house. Okay, what you going to do with that house for the king? Right. What are you going to do? Our house belongs to the king. And anytime somebody needed help, Amen. my wife would come to me and say, so -and -so. I said, bring them. Yeah. Bring them now. Bring them into here. Yeah. She's like, for real? Bring them. Yeah. Anytime we find out, she can say somebody, even if they don't want to come, I'm like, bring them. Right. Because this belongs to the king. Amen. And this is where they need to be. Yes. So bring them. I have no problem. Bring them. Yes. But guess what? They got to govern themselves according to yeah. the kingdom. Amen. Yes. Yes. Ain't no sneaking outside, right. puffing it, and we go outside and find cigarette butts and all. Uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> that ain't the kingdom. We, you don't see cigarette butts in our yard, so I'm sorry. Right. You don't see cigarette butts in the front of the house or in right. the backyard. Amen. Or, like, because this is kingdom. So if you're going to come here, guess what? You're coming here under the jurisdiction of the right. kingdom of heaven. Right. Amen. And that's how we're supposed to do it. Amen. Amen. You know, my brother who lost his fight, we were like, bring him. Yeah. We were like, come on, come hang with us for a while. Just, just come on. You ain't going to the hotel. You're going to come hang with us. Yes. Come on, hang with us for a while. But thank God he went back to work. He decided to go back to work. Right. But we was going to bring him. Yes. We was going to bring him. We was going to love on him. House. We was going to feed him. We was yes. going to encourage him. We was going to build him up. Mm -hmm. That's what we supposed Amen. to do. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's our job. Yes. Mm -hmm. We ain't the ones should be needing help. Right. We blessed are the givers. <laughs> We're supposed to be the one that's, that's giving the help. Yes. We're we the problem solvers. Right. We're the agents of change. Yes. We're the ones that's supposed to make a difference mm -hmm. in this world. Amen. Because we're the light of this world. Amen. We're the yeast in this world. Yes. We're the salt of this world. Amen. Our job is to change things. Yes. But if we don't understand God's intent, ain't nothing changing. Amen. If we don't understand his will, his purpose, ain't nothing changing. Amen. And for years, we've been taught to go to somebody else and ask what God's purpose for my life is. Mm-hmm. Yep. Can you imagine 
Yeah. Uh, Pastor John coming up to me and said, what's my purpose for my marriage? Right. Oh, you want me to tell you? Right. <laughs> okay, here it is. He'd be looking at me like, man, I ain't doing it. You lost your mind. Right. <laughs> you, right. You lost, you, I know what my wife needs. Okay, well, then why did you come to me? Right. Yeah. I know what my wife would want. I know how to love my wife. Right. I don't have to go to man and ask man how to love my yes. wife. Yes. And it's crazy if I go to John and say, here's the purpose for your marriage. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Me like, Look, dude, I know I've been off the streets for a long time, but we're about to go there. Because uh -huh. now you're messing with my domain. That's my territory. Mm -hmm. Now how y'all looking? Amen. Ooh, it's true. Mm -hmm. I, was, I wish a man would come tell me how to run my marriage. Mm -hmm. Right. But you should take wise counseling. Wise counseling means you need to shut up. That's the wise counseling. Because I know what I know what it is. Yeah. Because why? I got the manual. <coughs> Amen. I, the Constitution is the manual. It tells me how. Mm -hmm. Because if I if I if I go to try to dictate to John, he's gonna be rebellious. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna be obedient. He he gonna he probably give me some choice words speaking in a new tongue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because why? That's something that a person does not go into. If we got the king, that's not, my job is to lay out what the king wants. Your job is to make a decision to, to accept what the king wants or reject what the king wants. That's it. And when my job is done, Thank you, Lord. I can look at him and say, wait for him to say, well done. You did what I asked of you. All right. Your job, when it's done, is for him to say the same thing to you. But our biggest problem is this. What, do, what is it going to take for you to come all the way in to submit totally to the king? What is it going to take for you to surrender and come under the jurisdiction of heaven for your own life? I can't force anybody to come into the kingdom. I'm not even trying to force anybody to come into the Amen. kingdom. I'm not even discouraging nobody who wants to come in the kingdom. Because if they didn't follow the king into the kingdom when he was on the, on the earth, everybody ain't going to follow me into that kingdom. Right. But one thing that I do know is this. I would not trade it for nothing. Amen. Because I have seen and I'm still seeing the king do his thing. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And I'm excited about what he's doing. Yes. Where he's going. And I'm going to close with this because I like to, I like to close with the king giving favor. <laughs> On yesterday, we went to take a look at volunteering for the Brewers for our school. Amen. And we found out that um, somebody gave me the information that the Boy Scouts did it. And they raised about two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Amen. They worked all game, all eighty-one games, and they raised six hundred. I mean, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. So we go to do the paperwork yesterday, and the lady who's who's supposed to sign you to where you're going to be for the games, right? She walks in the room, and I said, "Yeah, I would like a billion dollar small bill." Y'all know how I do it. I always say that first. Yeah, billion. And then she she was like, "Okay, I don't have that one, but then." We started talking, and I, and I just said one word to her, favor. Yeah. That's all I said, favor. And guess what? Favor showed up. Amen. The place they gave us, it is amazing. Amen. Where are we going to be? 250000 would be nothing. Yes. The way they gave us, it, it's so amazing. We're right behind home plate. And when everybody else got to close up, we get to stay open. Right. Amen. Favor. Right. Amen. When you line up to do it God's way, mm -hmm. favor. Then the, the man that uh, in charge, me and him, and Apostle Rose were walking out together, and I began to talk to him about the school. Favor. Amen. You guys, you got to understand, once we line up with God, 
There's no door no man can hinder you from. Yes. Nothing. Yes. No door. Amen. Everything you desire to do for the kingdom, God's going to give you access to do it because he searched our hearts. Amen. Just like Nehemiah, he, he, was, a, he was the cupbearer, right? right? But he, he had a desire to do something for God, and that was to rebuild the wall. Yes. King, not only did the king grant him time to leave, but gave him everything he needed to rebuild Amen. the wall. Amen. When our hearts is right and our attention for the kingdom of God is lining up, he gives you everything you yes. desire. Yes. But it got to be for him. It ain't got to be for you. Right. You're going to be taken care of, but make sure your original intent right. is to advance the kingdom of God. Yes. Let's yes. pray. So, Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. We bless your name. We honor you for who you are. God, we realize and understand without you, we're nothing. Thank you, Lord. We submit ourselves to the jurisdiction of heaven. Yes. We submit ourselves to our king. Yes. Thank you, Not Jesus. only are you savior, but you actually are Lord, yes, Lord. of our lives. Thank you, Jesus. And we submit it totally unto you. Yes, Lord. Father, use us yes. to make Milwaukee. Yes, Lord. A colony for the kingdom of heaven. Yes. Use us to demonstrate and manifest the yes, culture Lord. of heaven everywhere we go. Yes, Lord. Use us to set your people free. Yes. To open up spiritual blinded eyes. To uncross spiritual deaf ears, God. Yes. Because everything starts spiritual first. Thank you, Jesus. So, Lord, we just thank you yes. for everything you've been doing yes. and about to do in 2023. Thank yes. you for allowing us to make it to the first Saturday yes. of this new year. Thank you, God. And we know that you are in charge of everything that we're doing. And we submit totally to you. Bless our hands as we go forward. Cover our feet, that everywhere we tread upon you, give us that land. Yes, Lord. And let me and let us only say what you have already said. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, Facebook. God bless.